Oh right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And I tell Brett. And today we are going to be watching The Matrix. So I guess this isn't technically a reaction video, it's a commentary video. This this video this movie was very popular with our family. So both of our parents have kind of watched this movie. I've never actually seen the sequels. I don't think you've ever actually seen the sequels. No, I haven't. We've been watching Blade and a bunch of these like early nine or late nineties, two thousands kind of movies. And it just made me think of The Matrix. So I was like, hey, let's do a commentary to The Matrix. We haven't watched it in a while. I want to see what you guys think. Kind of break it down, get a little more technical, filmy. And then obviously if we want to continue the other two Matrix, maybe three, I don't know. The other Matrix movies, possibly, or maybe it'll just be a one-off. We'll continue, do some uh, Ghost Rider or something like that. I don't know. Really just let us know in the comments down below. We've never done a movie commentary before. So I want to see how this goes. As you can probably tell, I sound deathly sick. I'm not as bad as I sound. Hope you bear with my... Hopefully, silky smooth, deep voice. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think so, fun. But we'll see. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction, whichever movie you guys vote for Matrix, Ghost Rider, whatever, this movie here. That is also going to be up on our Patreon for early access. If you want to throw a little bit of extra support towards the channel, it is pretty reasonable. It does really help us keep doing what we're doing. Either way, though, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new, welcome. And let's just get into The Matrix. So this came out, apparently, what everybody was saying, is a year after Blade 1. Because we were saying they were very similar. Okay, interesting. Um, now, I think that probably means they were probably both in pre or production at the same time. So I don't think really one copied off the other, but... No, I do know that The Matrix was based off of... Um... Or I took reference from Ghost in the Shell. Oh, 100%. When I watch Ghost in the Shell, it's a lot of inspiration. That's title card win. I mean, we're gonna kill him. You understand that? Morpheus believes he is the one. Do you? It doesn't matter what I believe. See, I don't remember all this like details. Yeah. Do you hear that? Hear what? Are you sure this line is clean? So cool. I better go. Oh. Just the analog technology and the sound design—it's so on point. It's so, it's so cool. Now, I don't know if I've told you this or not. And I, I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but I've been told that the directors got a budget and they spent all of their budget on the opening scene and then showed it to the studio and said, we want more money. Really? Do it! Do it! Do it now! Oh, yeah. I just love the look, the green color. It's, like, so yeah. iconic now, but... Ooh. Do you recognize Hugo Weaving? Yeah, yeah, From yeah. From Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Yeah. You were given the orders were for your protection. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can handle one little girl. Did you see what she was wearing? <laughs> I don't know if you can handle this. Send two units. Lieutenant, your men are already dead. <laughs> well, was so <laughs> sick, actually. That's such an awesome shot. <sighs> Oh. oh yeah, bullet time, baby. Ooh. Dude. Oh yeah, the white <laughs> wall running and stuff. And just the choreography Dang. too. Are there any agents? Yes. God damn it. Let's go. Dude, I love this opening where like it's they don't so tell you intense. anything. But, like, you can tell from their reactions, like, what's happening, you know? And you still think it's real. <laughs> Credit to the cops for even trying to follow <laughs> this chase. Like, what? Oh, that's a sick shot. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Ooh. <laughs> Get up! It's so cool. It's so intense. Dang! That truck was close, man. Get 
It doesn't matter. The informant is real. <laughs> we have the name of their next target. The name is Neo. Dude. That's, That's just such awesome. a good opening. That that is how you open a movie right there. Yeah, and it they literally don't explain anything. No, but which you is can perfect. already tell. Like My man Keanu. Yeah, we can honestly just watch Keanu Reeves movies for the rest of the channel. <laughs> Bro. I'm down. Did you just try to close it? <laughs> I like how this movie made like computer people cool too. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're my savior, man. My own personal Jesus Christ. You get caught using it. Well, there we go. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Hello, Neo. <laughs> How do you know that name? I know a lot about you. Sodom. You were a guy. That <laughs> was you on my computer. Sort of. They're watching you, Neo. Who is? That's never a good. <laughs> I know why you're here, Neo. I know because I was once looking for the same thing. See, I don't even remember any of this stuff. He told me I wasn't really looking for him. You know the question, just as I did. What is the Matrix? <laughs> Wake up. And you're late. <laughs> it's so trippy. I love the editing. It's so yeah. like all over the place and... ...software companies in the world because every single employee understands that they are part of a whole. Thus, if the time has come to make a choice, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Find yourself another job. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mr. Brown. Hello? Hello, Neo. Do you know who this is? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this movie. Morpheus. Yes. I've been looking for you, Neo. They're coming for you, Neo, and I don't know what they're going to do. The ambiguity of it makes it so much more, <laughs> like, threatening. Oh, dear. Uh -oh. Dude, they're the way they all look at you. <laughs> That's so freaking. The cubicle across from you is empty. I love the fact <laughs> that he he just knows the, these things is like it's it's weird, you know. How do you know it's empty? <laughs> the filmmaking is so on point. Everything's low. Everything's tense. Everything's. <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh my god, that's just, really... just don't even. <laughs> Whew. I. I would. Give... Oh, I can. Dude, I would give up, man. I'm freaking. Ooh. Oh no! Dude, that thing's gonna break! I love that he like doesn't do it. Yeah, I don't even remember that. I I love that. That feels so realistic. Shit. <laughs> yeah, because it's like it, it fits with the theme, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and all the agents acting is like. That's what Perfect. I was gonna say. Hugo Weaving, I think his acting is because you just think, oh, it's just like stale acting, but it's like it's I think not. it's underrated. He's got like all these little flicks yeah. of the wrist and like, and the way he like slowly moves. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mister. You have a social security number. You pay your taxes, and you, your landlady, carry out her garbage. <laughs> the other life is lived in computers. Where you go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of. And whatever you think you know about this man is irrelevant. He is considered by many authorities to be the most dangerous man alive. Yeah, dude, who do you trust? It's like somebody who's like, oh, everything you think you know, it's wrong. 
And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. Like the FBI yeah. stories in a way. Like, I give you the finger. <laughs> and you give me my phone call. I love you, Keanu. <laughs> I know my rights. I want my phone call. No, you don't but understand what is happening. <laughs> what good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? <laughs> That's so cool. Dude, the way they show it is so freaky. I don't know how they did that. <gasps> okay, I appreciate sure it. Like CG. You're going to help us, Mr. Anderson. Whether you want to. Ooh, that is awesome. That's cool. Dude, transform. <laughs> oh, just a dream. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome shot. That is so much water. That's so cool. Like the colors. <laughs> For our protection. From what? From you. Oh yeah, because you have the like... Please, Neil. You have to Damn. trust me. Why? Because you have been down there, Neil. And I know that's not where you want to be. It's it's so cool, because it makes sense. He's not just an idiot who like goes along with stuff. Yeah. I think you're bugged. I like the tech. Like, I do too. It's kind of interesting. Ooh! Even the car, right? It's all its all like almost a little bit vintage. Even yeah, for the yeah, time, yeah. I believe. <laughs> Dang. Christ, that thing's real! <laughs> Why is Rain so darn cinematic? There's just something about it that's epic. Yeah, because it's just the way that it can like interact with me. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. At last. <laughs> also, like, the place is, like, it's so cool. I am Morpheus. It's an honor to meet you. You have the look of a man who accepts what he sees because he's expecting to wait. <laughs> no. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. I mean, you're honest. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. The freakiest part is that this is so true for like anybody. Uh. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. The reflection. Oh dude, you're right. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or... <laughs> Which is why it's the best prison. <sighs> also the detail that he's the only one not wearing sunglasses because he's having like the reality pulled over his eyes. Yeah, yeah. You have to see it for yourself. Also, he's just because he's not with the cool kids yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just not cool. You take the blue pill. The iconic scene. That is so cool. How did they do that? Like, I remember his glasses being cool, but now that I know anything about filmmaking, that is so hard. I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the... <laughs> oh, yeah. So awesome. ...that you were so sure was real. How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real one. <laughs> this can oh, the effects, be man. Be real. Oh, whoa. <laughs> can you imagine, like, the mind-bending nature of watching this in the theaters yeah. in 1999? That'd be so cool. Like, if somebody, I mean, I'm sure people watched it when it came out. 
Tell us in the comments. Don't look down. Don't look down, dude. It is awesome. This is the sheer absurdity of it all. Dude. Is like, whoa, that was an awesome shot. Oh no, watch out! It's so like epic. Shoot. The fact that he doesn't know how to swim. No, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And he's like weak. I like how they take like the time, you know? Yes. Cause you wouldn't just pop out of there like a freaking no 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 you know it's like John Wick. <laughs> strangely, for how like crazy this movie is, it also has this really grounded element to it that helps achieve this like insane level of immersion. Yeah, it, it like makes it really feel believable. Whoa. Yep. Yeah, it's real. What is this place? More important than what is when. <laughs> You believe it's the year 1999, when in fact it's closer to 2199. Come with me. See for yourself. You don't show it to him, he's gonna have a heart attack. It's even worse than explaining it. Try to relax. This is such, uh, this is such a cool, like... Because it's like they're explaining it to the audience, but... <laughs> oh, dude! That's so cool. It's our loading program. The audio sounds like it's in a small room instead of a big one. Anything we need. Your appearance now is what we call residual self-image. It is the mental projection of your... If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell. See, I, I don't think I ever really process how philosophical this movie is. Like, I feel like we're going to have some crazy discussions. No, yeah. This is the world that you know. The world <laughs> as it was at the end of the 20... Because if it's like all, it, if if it's just chemical reactions and stimulation to your brain. Simulation. Is that then real? call the matrix. Exactly. You've been living in a dream world, Neo. Okay, the fact that they have glasses that reflective and never once are the reflections inaccurate is insane. Welcome Whoa. to the desert. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. and pieces of singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. Yeah, people would be hyped. First, us. Until you watch Terminator. <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. I mean, terrible, but... And then I saw the fields with my own eyes. I'm standing there. Facing the pure, horrifying... Dude, uh, that's so freaky! What is the Matrix? <laughs> Control. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world. I don't believe it. Bro. It's not possible. I didn't say it would be easy. That would be crazy. Let me out! Oh, that is such a cool camera shot. Hold on! Easy, Leo. <laughs> I mean, it would be. Ooh. That would be freaky. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Well, because it's literally breaking down your understanding of everything in the world. The everything. Yes. And you're like, like the it's fact like your your entire life was fake, kind Boy. of like. Oracle prophesized his return, and that his coming would hail the destruction of the Matrix, end the war. But what happens if you destroy them? Like, like I feel like the machines are still such a the huge threat. You know what I mean? It doesn't really yeah. matter if you destroy the Matrix. It's like now you have a bunch of giant babies who can't do anything. Yeah, and will it, they be even it, able to accept trying to fight it? machines? Yeah, even if they accept it. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm fairly excited to see what you're capable of. If Morpheus is right now, <sighs> very exciting time. He's like, dude, I don't, I, I work at a software company. This means you're blowing shit. <laughs> Let's do something a little more fun. This is like the guy trying to show you how to play video games, and you're like, bro, no, no, just go to like the basic like, level. Wait, let me tutorial? Tease. No, okay. Wait, listen, we're gonna start off on level <laughs> five. <laughs> Jiu-jitsu. Ooh. Jiu-jitsu. Whoa, that's an awesome effect with like the quivering lens. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
reacts like a normal person. Like, bro, are you kidding me? I can just learn stuff like this? Well, I wonder too. Like, think about when you learn something. There's like, like a literal chemical response to achieving. No, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I wonder in theory, like, would you receive that? Like, isn't that just like a giant hit of dopamine, basically? Probably. Because you're achieving this thing in a matter of seconds? I know. What's just the feeling of knowing <laughs> things? <laughs> Show me. Oh, that's such a cool. What you must learn is that these rules are no different than the rules of a computer system. Some of them can be bent. And then there could be awesome fighting. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the directors were like really into anime, and so they were trying to create like a live action anime. <laughs> Switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee <laughs> is acting, man. And the fact that they all did these stunts is yeah. incredible. Like, I know we're so spoiled, but. Whoa! Good. More hits to fight Neo. <laughs> the best entertainment we've had in years. Ooh. I love how they focus on the footwork. Whoa! That was a cool <laughs> move. Oh, that was sick. Ooh, he's getting the so hang of uh, bending sick. the rules. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's like, bro, get out of here. How did I beat you? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Do you believe that my being stronger or faster? has anything to do with my muscles. Yeah, none of that, none of those rules apply. Yeah. And so it has nothing to do with faster or strong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's fast. We don't have the frames to cover it. <laughs> Ooh. What are you waiting for? You're faster than this. <laughs> Don't. This cinematography is so on point. No, you are. <laughs> Whoa! How the heck do they do that? I don't believe it. I know what you're trying to do. Tank, load the jump program. The studio gave us another hundred thousand dollars of budget. Load the <laughs> jump program. <laughs> the first time I thought it wasn't real your mind makes it real yep so for all intents and purposes it is it is kind of real yeah the body cannot live without the mind I love how that's just true in everyday life too you know it's like your mind oh, yeah. can make things real and also I feel like this film would not nearly be be nearly as interesting if there wasn't any stakes Right? Oh yeah, no, just for sure. Just on a like, technical understanding weird. of the story where it's like, no, there has to be stakes. Yeah. No matter how cool this is. Morpheus is so sure. Why isn't he taking to see the Oracle? Morpheus will take him when he's ready. I think it's cool that no matter how much of a actual reality you're in, it still takes an element of faith and like trust yeah. in, in anything. Were you listening to me, Neo? <laughs> I don't think so. Rest. I was look again. Ooh. <laughs> that is so cool. It's, it's another simulation. training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. They are everyone, and they are no one. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Someone. <laughs> Yeah, what are you implying? No man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. Yet their strength and their speed are still based in a world 
they will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. Yeah, because they're code. They're ones and zeros. They're limited. That I can dodge bullets? No, Neo. Weirdo design. Whoa! Neo. You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like if this movie was made now, this guy would be Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always look at it and code it? Well, you have to. The image translators work for the construct program. You get used to it. I, I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. <laughs> sure, dude. <sighs> why, oh why didn't I take the blue pill? <laughs> did he tell you why he did it? Why you're here? Kind of, in bits and pieces. So you're here to save the world. What do you say to something like that? No, like... <laughs> you see an agent, you do what we do. Run. Well, that wasn't good for him. I just, once again, though, I love it. The agents have barely done anything on screen, and they're some of the most terrifying villains ever made. Yeah. Now. I don't remember nothing. Nothing. You understand? You know, someone important. And, like, of course... Dude, honestly, like an actor. <laughs> you get my body back in a power plant. You insert me into the Matrix. I'll get you what you want. Well, it's weird because it, it asks the bigger question, right? If, if, if all there is to life is like being happy, you could argue that what he's doing isn't completely illogical. No, yeah. and I Right? Because like... he's happier than any of these people in reality will ever be. Yeah, regardless if it's real or not right because for all like, intents and purposes it is yeah, it is real to him because what makes that sort of difference i think the difference is is like if you believe in like okay there's a right and a wrong maybe there's more to you know there's a value to sacrifice or whatever different things like that yeah because without it then of course why wouldn't you always choose that's that's what we do in regular life right is choose the the road of least damage and most happiness most pleasure yeah i mean Taste like, which is why chicken. I don't know. Like I, I feel day. like um, yeah, I mean, there's it's still a decent amount of people that it's a single cell protein that, combined with you know, synthetic stuff aminos, stuff vitamins, and minerals. Not cool. No, of but course. they don't believe in that. No, no, no. Of course, that's why I'm saying it, it asks that question though. No, but yeah, I'm saying, and then there's some people that do believe in something more, but will, you know, accept a sort of virtual stimulation. Yeah. To deny our own impulses is to deny the very thing that makes us human. Those are... I don't know. <laughs> Does it? Is it, way, isn't that what, uh, what's his name just did? I mean... And went back into the Matrix? There's still some truth to that, though. Such, such a cool, cool shot. Movie. This is awesome. Like, dude, come on. And just the, the it's idea. It's just cool. Like to have it ringing and it's spinning around and showing each one. Awesome. We're in. <laughs> Morpheus is so cool. I love this movie. We'll be back now. Okay, but no one beats Morpheus to shades. Like, what the heck? We're here. Neo, come with me. I like it's it's very interesting because it's almost a reverse of what you would assume that this movie seems to challenge what we consider objective truth mm -hmm. and almost you know says to put like faith in a different kind of knowledge right like a more you know like philosophical conceptual as opposed to pure hard evidence sort of thing mm -hmm. try not to think of it in terms of right and wrong she is a guide you know. she can help you to find the path being the one is just like being in love. Oh, so I will never know. <laughs> You're in love, you just know it. Through and through. Open your mouth, say ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. I love the little subtle facial expressions. <laughs> I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. 
kid. Wait, what? I don't remember this at all. For some reason, I do remember this interaction. What's funny? Morpheus. He, uh, he almost had me convinced. I know. Yeah, but you're convinced in the other direction that's probably affecting it, dude. Because she didn't say anything. Yeah. You literally came up with the answer, and she just went along with it. Morpheus believes in you, Leo. And no one, not you, not even me, can convince him otherwise. <laughs> so blindly that he's going to sacrifice his life. <laughs> black cat. Not just a black cat. A deja vu. Deja vu. A black cat went past us, and then another that looked just like it. How much like it? Was it the same cat? Switch. APOC. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, building all these real-world references. It happens when they change something. Oh, I, I just like that they have these different mechanics. Yeah. Oh, no. Freaking, oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, he went out like a legend. Yeah. I hope the Oracle gave you some good news. Don't rub it in. Okay, whoever that. It's a computer, I mean. Bro. That's such a cool shot. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh, you... <coughs> oh! Here are the walls. Drop, drop, drop! Oh! I don't remember this. Oh! That was sick. It's so sick. Great Morpheus. We meet at last. And you are. Good. Go, go, go. They just. Shit. That's a cool oh, weapon. Oh, dude. It's so messed up, man. Yeah. It's like these people are literally the closest thing you ever had to family. For a long time, I thought I was in love. Oh, dude. If you would have told us the truth, we would have told you to shove that red pill right up your ass. You call this free. Well, I mean, technically, right? It, when you're the, the more free you are, the more the more responsibility, the more the harder it is to do, you know, like. Matrix isn't real. I disagree, Trinity. It doesn't matter. The Matrix can be more real than this world. I mean, if Neo is the one, then there'd have to be some kind of a miracle. I mean, how can he be the one if he's dead? Dude, he's so hateable. Oh my gosh. No. I don't believe it. Huh. <gasps> you piece of shit, you still gonna burn. That's what you get. What a legend, Tank. I mean, then I feel like the question is, is that a miracle? Because it's like we're so trained to believe, like, oh, it's just coincidence. But it's like he literally said, like, then a miracle will happen and he'll be safe. But does it's like almost like dude? dude but look at really him; he's matter. got a giant hole in him. I believe that as a species, human beings define their reality through misery. Your primitive cerebrum kept trying to wake up from. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's why every movie. It's like that's that's. I like how they were all willing to make that sacrifice, even the people that were very close to him. Yeah. It shows how important it is. Of course. What are you talking about? The Oracle. She told me this would happen. She told me that I would have to make a choice. What? 
So start believing, Neo. I feel like this is the first time he actually starts believing in the Oracle. I have to. Neo, Morpheus sacrificed himself so that we could get you out. There is no way that you're going back in. Morpheus believed something, and he was ready to give his life for what he believed. I understand that now. This is so trippy, dude. Ask so many questions about, like... I believe I can bring him back. No, you're not. No? Let me tell you what I believe. <laughs> I believe Morpheus means more to me than he does to you. I am the ranking officer on this ship. If you don't like it, I believe you can go to hell. <laughs> oh, dang. Tank, load us up. Trinity is just awesome. Trinity is awesome. I'd like to share a revelation that I've had. Good thing he likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's interesting. I don't know. I, I wonder if that means something. It's, it's like a like... machine wouldn't monologue. Well... That's why he's not a machine, right? The only way you can survive is to spread to another. A virus. Yeah, but a virus isn't alive. Or a disease. Well, Cancer of this planet. You are a... Besides a miracle. Guns. <laughs> Lots of guns. Let's go. That was them writing the script. Can you hear me, Morpheus? I'm going to be honest with you. And the fact that he's literally unplugging. I hate this place. Taste your stink. I've been infected by it. It's repulsive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the fact yeah, that you're even saying this means you are almost. Out of here. I must get free, and in this mind is the key. I have to get inside Zion, and you have to tell me how. Oh yeah, baby. It's got to be one of the most famous scenes in all of cinema history. Honestly, this movie has like 20 of those. Very keys, boost change. <laughs> Even the computer's surprised. But aren't they? Wouldn't they just be other people? I guess so. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> We're the heroes, okay? Oh my god! You didn't think. The pillars in this scene make it so much more like. Oh, dude! Epic. I was literally gonna say that. That the like anybody who doesn't appreciate practical effects and yeah. thinks CG is as good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sick! <laughs> the pillars is gone. Oh, my it's so sick! <laughs> is it this movie like one of the ones that like kind of like? Made slow mo like a really well the the bullet time yeah I'm not sure about slow mo entirely oh, yeah, yeah. but the bullet time yeah that was revolutionized by this movie. That oh, move. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, dude. No, that was cool. <laughs> Even just little things, like the little slide there. Like, Dude. What were you doing? <laughs> That's what you get, dude. Repeat, we are under attack! That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Freaking iconic. Dude. That's what I mean by not just one scene. Only human. Dodge this. <laughs> oh, so sick. <laughs> Oh, 
telling you, rain makes everything cooler. It does. Because you can see oh, all the yeah. effects and all that. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't hit Morpheus. Holy. Well, He's going to trust in the Matrix. The editing is so on point. The different combinations, the different frame rates. Like, yeah. <laughs> the problem is they can just <laughs> infinitely respawn, you know, it's like... Let's go. <laughs> I remember that. That's so sick. Oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> Watch out for the glass. Holy. And th the way that the effect is just a tiny bit mitigated, but not fully. like I got the girl and she's like dude do you realize what you just I got the girl <laughs> the oracle she told me she I... told you exactly what you needed to hear yeah <laughs> Neo sooner or later you're going to realize just as I did operator tank god damn it's good to hear your voice sir I need an exit got one yeah we still need to get Let's out go. hello Neo I want to tell you something guys I know you're in love, but it's not the time. But I'm afraid of what it could mean if I do. Do it on the ship. Come on. <laughs> go, 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 go. That was Ooh. sick. You have to send me back. I can't. The phone. Let's gone. go. Run, Neo, run. The fact that we've just been building up about the agents this whole time. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this is epic. And the sets are so sick. Like, I oh love my all gosh. these places. Yeah. <laughs> Just the little touches. That stuff like that makes it extra epic. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Your shade's looking a little messed up. I'm going to enjoy watching you die. Dang! I feel like there's something to him taking off the glasses and actually being like honest though. Yeah. Weirdly, too. Dang! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The learner has become the master. Oh, nice. <laughs> also, I don't know if they're adding this after, but like the smoke coming off their bodies as they hit each other, like the dust. It feels very um, like Asian inspired. Yeah. Right, that. <laughs> you hear that, Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of inevitable. It's such an iconic quote. Is Neo. <laughs> the job. Let's go. Uh, 
I was like trying not to touch the volleyball net. <laughs> Dude, the fact that it's shaky cam on him and it's still on them, I just noticed that. That's so cool. It makes you feel way more frantic with, these, with yes. him running. Whoa! Uh-oh, they got you. Dang, that's so cool. I don't care what they had to do to like kind of save and keep it dark or whatever. It still looks clean. Yeah. Also, I just like the design. Yes, I love the design and the movement. Oh, guys. They're at the, the definition of at your door. They're inside. <laughs> They're inside. That's cool. So it's literally exactly like she said in Big Like Love. Because I love you. You hear me? Let's go, Neo. You have the power of love on your side. Love. <laughs> My man just said no. And he has the force. <laughs> <laughs> that too, sorry. He said, I don't care about your bullets. Stop. That is so cool, though. <laughs> the definition of power. She just became enlightened. Wow. <laughs> 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 like, what? Whoa. That is so cool, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can actually kill them. <laughs> the musical cues. Dang. <laughs> a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Oh my gosh, freaking iconic. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect combination, man. I mean, that's just awesome. Yeah. It, it's iconic. It I watch iconic. it again and it's actually even cooler than I ever remembered. Yeah. It, it, everything. There is not a moment of downtime. There is not a moment of boring character, side person you don't like, bad special effect. Like, like, and I, I go the opposite way. Like, I know some people are like, oh, it's an old movie. Like, dude, I would have forgiven this for a lot. 99? Yeah. I would give you a lot. Barely anything even noticeable by today's standards, which is incredible in oh, my yeah. opinion. Um, just everything, the acting, the facial expressions, Morpheus, the entire movie, Neo, the entire movie, Trinity, the entire movie, just everything. And it's just so on point. It's such a tight, like no nonsense movie in every way, shape and form, I think. Oh yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I think that um, especially like, what makes this movie really good is of course, yeah, you know, the story is is awesome, man. It's oh, yeah. such a cool concept. Yes. And stuff like that. Um, but also, I think the small things are what make this movie, like, just incredible. Like, the the way that they kind of carry themselves. The, yes. The small little, like, you know, the, the sliding of the foot when yeah. picking up the bag. It, 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 adds, it, it adds to, like, the movie, like, to its, like, whole, you know? There's all these little things that kind of like build up. Yeah. And you can't really, you don't notice them all the time, 
especially if you're not focusing it on it, but it like gives you this feel, you know, and you're like, wow, like there's something about it that's like different, you know. I think that's what makes it so unique mm-hmm. is that it's like there's such an intense attention to detail that I feel like is sometimes even underappreciated where yeah. everything like you're saying but to me what that signifies is not only is it like like that th- you know what you want to the to the the foot slide to the yeah. the phone call the little bit of costume where it's like it's not just kind of like punk costume there's more to it than that it's not just oh you can you can't really stick a label on it that's why even watching blade you're like what does this remind you the matrix because it's like the matrix is so iconic mm-hmm. and everything about it every single detail about it is so unique that I feel like that's why it has such a big impact on culture and movies and everything. Oh yeah, no. And then just the cool factor of it is is really on another level. Like they know how to do certain shots, when to cut certain things, when to drop the one-liners. You know, oh, yeah. it's like of course. They know how to do that. And I I feel like um the cool factor a lot of times is kind of put off as like a cheap sort of like, you know, movie thing where it's like, okay, well, yeah. whatever, it's cool, but that's not really like philosophical. But honestly, I, I look at it as the same level. Like there is a difference between cheesy, just like, you know, bad, cool to like genuine that that is awesome. That is cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, I think it's actually an art form. I agree. And I, they do it really, really well. Like, it, yeah. I mean, yeah. other, other, other like directors or whatnot would have done like a different cut, a different type of camera, like lens or whatever. And like the, ty- like when, when she was, um, pointing the gun at uh, one of the agents head and said, dodge this. Yeah. Like, it's a, I don't it's know like what a it distorted was. angle. Yeah. 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 yeah I hundred percent noticed that. Yeah. They, they made it very, everything being very blown good. out, everything like, like all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, the cool factor was on another level, for sure. Well, I feel like, too, it, it deserves even more... Like, you know how we'll talk about a kid's movie that is able to be a kid's movie on one level and then have this, like, mind-blowing theme on another? Mm-hmm. And I think that's really hard to do because sometimes people will try to do that and then it blends together. And it's like, that's a little too adult for a kid's movie or mm-hmm. vice versa. This movie does that with, like, this very serious kind of commentary, philosophical, like, mind-bending ideas, truly, mm-hmm. while also just being entertaining. Like, it's, it's like a... It's a McDonald's hamburger and a five-star restaurant no, yeah. at the same time, which yeah. I think shows absolute mastery. Because, yeah. And it's not even to say that to be a great action movie or to be a cool, really like big thinking movie is, is bad. Mm-hmm. But it, being able to combine the two and being able to pace that in the way that this movie does is like, it's incredible. No, yeah. Uh, I agree. And of course, like everyone's acting is so... So awesome. I, I feel like, yeah, the Trinity, as far as, like, you know, the female, strong female, like, characters, I I think she stands out above, like, a lot of them. I literally She's feel like... She's one of the best female characters, I think, in, like, the past, like, you know, decade or whatever. Dude, literally after decades. having watched this movie, I feel like the last 20 years of movies, which I feel like has focused on trying to have cool female characters more have failed compared to Ripley, Sarah Connor, yes. and Trinity. It's like, dude, no one, no one even holds up close yeah, to any of those characters. Not even definitely close, some of the best. Uh, Maybe Kill Bill. Maybe, uh, uh, what's her name? I mean, of course, I'm probably forgetting a few. But Kill Bill. I, but just like, I you know. Know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like. No, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I just think this movie is really cool. I, something I noticed, too, that I really thought was cool is that they really were smart with how they used their kind of like big effects, mm-hmm. like their their you know wire work and stuff like that. And actually, if you watch it, it, it isn't like they're super powered humans the whole time. And th- and that's mm-hmm. why I think it's it's really like smart attention to detail because they'll do things where it's not even interacting a lot of the time. Where it'll be like, oh Neil, just do this cool flip, and it's like, oh that's really safe. It's not super complicated because it's just him flipping, yeah. but. The uh, choice of camera, the choice of slow mo or not slow mo, they make the most of every single effect that you can tell. They're like, oh, we're gonna spend you know fifty thousand dollars on that. Let's make the most of it. Even something as simple as doing everything in slow mo, so that you can kind of like cheat a little bit and show the action. Um, I don't know if you noticed this. Like I noticed in the editing, where it'll show an action and then it'll show just a little bit of that action again in slow mo, mm-hmm. and they do that a lot. But I think it's really cool because it 
it makes the effects that matter really count and and they built it into the actual like style of doing the entire movie so it doesn't just seem like cheap or i, I don't know i just really appreciated that yeah you know it's almost not as many effects as you would think sometimes i feel like someone should do a study on like slow-mo because you know what it reminds me of is it reminds me of like anime at times where you know how there's like it's kind of like a running gag where it's like there's anime time in real time. Yeah, yeah, and It's yeah. like sometimes it goes like really slow in anime time where they're like having all this dialogue yeah. between like one action. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's mainly because of if it's translated from manga a lot of times, right? The panels will have like a dialogue in one image <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, how do, how do I you put do that, that? In, Yeah. Right? But it's interesting because it gives anime a certain sort of feel, right? Yeah. Where like an action is a punch and it's like slowly going. I wonder if they, you know, the slow-mo kind of it kind of gives it that same like feel at times you know well if you watch it something i was noticing is that they play with they don't just do okay this is 100 frames per second we're going to slow down and then regular 24 frames per second they don't like when he's shooting the machine gun mm-hmm. his him shooting the machine gun is probably like 50 I, I don't know my frame rate super well but it's clearly just faster it's not regular 24 frames per second okay yeah, and yeah. so they do that a lot and so you'll have like four different frame ra- as opposed to just like here's the super slow-mo which a lot of people do and then here's the regular speed yeah, yeah. they'll be like super slow-mo less slow less slow and then a little bit of regular mixed mm-hmm. in and so it like tricks your mind into having more time because it goes from super super slow to less slow and so you feel like oh this is reality but if you actually look at it like oh the machine gun is still spinning slower or the the speed at which the shells are falling or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and i feel like they did a lot of that um, which I feel like is a really cool trick to mm-hmm. kind of help accept. I, I'm sure there's more to it. That's just something I was noticing. No, yeah. yeah. No, I like, uh, you know, they just didn't do it really well. I feel like the they really had like an image and they were able to pull it off like perfectly. Yeah, and something else I feel like that's overlooked in this movie is the sound design. Like mm-hmm. there was a lot of, and it's very anime-esque as well, mm-hmm. where there's a lot of like swishes and movements. Everything, every move on camera has a movement. And I think that really adds to it. And then I was even noticing, like, the punches feel way more, but mostly because of the sound side. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, the wall shatters. That's cool. But, you know, if you if you really, really focus on it, um, you would probably be able to be like, oh, it's like a breakable thing. But because they do such a good job with the slow motion and the cutting and, and like, kind of hiding it, and then the sound, man, yeah. the sound packs a punch. Yeah. And when he, like, hits the wall in the train, it slams the wall in the yeah. train. And so then it's just enough to um, kind of bring your mind over the edge and really convince you that it, which is so trippy in a movie like The Matrix, that it's real. <laughs> that you're like playing with all these different like tricks as to making it real. I don't know. I think it's cool. No, it is. Yeah. I, I, I like that sort of like um, the type of choreography that the fighting kind of had. You know, it, it felt very, you know, like raid-esque. You know, oh, a lot yeah, more it's like very that. very Easter. Yeah. Very Easter. It, it, I don't know. It just fits the 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 entire style of the movie so well. Yeah, it's awesome, and all the actors did awesome. Yeah, it yeah, all, yeah. What's his name? What's the guy that Hugo Wesley Weaving? Snipes? Oh, 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 Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah, dude, he's he's awesome. Wait, wait, wait. No, he's he's Blade. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, Wesley Snipes. Hugo Blade. Weaving uh, is Hugo Weaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's Hugo Weaving. Awesome. Literally, I was looking at everybody's performances because I think sometimes you know Keanu Reeves gets a little bit of a bad rap because he's like oh, he's not the, the not the greatest actor in the world I, mean, I have no idea but, but maybe that's just my circles I know some people kind of make fun of him for that but actually if you look at this movie I swear there everybody is making it's not just like monotone to be monotone or like to sound cool like everything everybody is doing is completely a choice like yeah. and you can tell it's like the little eyebrow moves and like the what it's honestly he- even though if people say like he does not have like the the same acting range as some of the really good actors, I, his weird he has like a sort of charm, you know, like yes, when he acts, dude. It's kind of funny almost. Yes, at times. It, it, I, there's I something like about it. him in this movie that he's like such an everyman. Where like he'll just give these confused looks, yeah. and you're like, yes, <laughs> but, like never, he won't say anything. <laughs> he never really like smiles or like gets like super depressed or anything. He's kind of just like right in the middle. Yeah, but it's just hilarious. Like, yeah, and then it, it contrasts so perfectly with like uh, I'm forgetting the actor's name, uh, Morpheus. Where it's like Morpheus plays it so epic yeah. he, there's not a moment where they humanize him in this weird way no. he's like he's like just epic guy the whole movie yeah. and so then Kevin Keanu be like 
the heck? Yeah. Like, it contrasts so It's perfectly. almost like the straight man or something, you know, <laughs> the comedy. Oh, dude, I love it. This movie is iconic. So, yeah, thank you for joining us, guys, for this commentary. Obviously, let us know if you want to do more commentaries or stuff like that. And let us know about the rest of The Matrix. I know that, you know, it probably doesn't live up to this, but... I freaking, I'm down to just watch cool action like this all day, every day. So, I don't know. Let us know if you want us to watch the rest of the Matrix movies or two and three at the very least um, in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. As always, full length reaction is going to be up on the Patreon. Next week's reaction, whichever movie you guys choose this movie here, is also going to be up on our Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. Hopefully, you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.